So in today's video, I'm gonna go over five reasons why you shouldn't change the wheels or tire configuration on your truck or car if you want to maintain a high or best miles per gallon or fuel economy. And let's get into those five reasons now. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is weight. So a lot of times people will switch the wheels to an aftermarket assembly. And when they switch from an uh, OEM assembly to an aftermarket assembly, the weight of the whole wheel ends up going up. So the stock wheels, these ones weigh roughly around 50 pounds for the tire and rim assembly on these 17s. I also have 24 inch wheels and they weigh about 85 pounds for the whole assembly. Same diameter, but that whole assembly weighs more. And uh, if you're going a lower truck like that, that's one example. Another one is I've had 35s before, and when I had the 20 inch with the 35 inch wheels, those things weigh, can weigh up to 100, 120 pounds each. So the weight of the actual, each wheel goes up and your fuel economy drops. When I go from these 17 inch wheels, uh, I have about 27 miles per gallon on the freeway on this uh, Hemi. But if I go to my 24s, I'll drop to like 20 miles per gallon easily. So it does make a big difference, but um, that's one thing, both with this truck and my lifted truck I've noticed, is the weight is a big factor. So the second item is the contact patch. A lot of people end up putting wider tires on. When you put a wider tire on, it has more resistance and friction on the road surface. And when you have that extra friction, it'll end up uh, putting more load on the, on the vehicle itself to keep everything in motion. And unfortunately, again, is gonna drop the miles per gallon of your vehicle. So third thing that's gonna drop the miles per gallon is the offset. So the offset is usually calculated by the hub, the distance off center um, that the wheel sits from the hub. And what happens is if the vehicle or the wheel sits out from the body, it's not gonna be as aerodynamic as a wheel that's situated more in of the body line. So for example, these stock wheels sit inside the body line, but when I put some of my other wheels on there, they'll sit out and it'll cut down on the aerodynamics of the vehicle. So the fourth thing that's going to reduce the miles per gallon is the wind resistance. So a lot of times when these wider wheels get put on and the wider tires, a lot of people don't think about the actual wind resistance of that wheel cutting through the air when it's driving down the road. So it does make a difference. All these factors are gonna add up to reduce the fuel economy. If you take a look, these are just the average one. They're pretty skinny. You start getting wider tires on there. It's going to, of course, create more wind resistance and unfortunately lower your fuel economy again. So the fifth thing that's gonna lower the fuel economy if you put different wheels on is a lot of times people end up putting in a more aggressive tread. They'll put on a mud type of tire um, and those bigger, fatter lugs aren't as, uh, they don't roll as nicely as a regular, um, a regular tire will. So when you put those tires on there where they have an aggressive type tread, they usually, you can hear them clanking down the road. You guys have probably already heard a vehicle go down the road or it's sitting there growling as it goes down the road. That um, creates more load on the vehicle as well and that's gonna add up to decreasing your miles per gallon as well. One last thing to mention too is a lot of times when people end up putting these bigger wheels on these trucks, they'll end up either putting a lift kit or they'll put a leveling kit. And when you do that, you take out the rake of the vehicle and the rake is designed to make the vehicle actually more aerodynamic. Um, I've done both. So this vehicle I've left stock height. I had another 2009 and when I had that vehicle, I had it with a six inch lift and even then some, I think it ended up being about an eight inch lift, 35 inch tires and the fuel economy went down the drain as soon as I did all that stuff. So um, I'm not sitting there blowing smoke guys. I've tried it both ways. This is completely stock. When I put my 24 inch wheels on this setup without changing ride height, fuel economy goes down. When I had a truck identical to this with a six inch lift on it, had big tires on it, fuel economy went down as well so these are some of the factors that I've found um, change the fuel economy but let me know what you guys think in the comments below as always thanks for watching guys we're also on Instagram as well and Facebook so I'll leave all those links here but everything's the same spelling as the channel at Boosted Motorsports thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next video take care